<laughs> That's funny. Hey guys, Rob Robillard and we are at Tools on Tap. We talk about tools after work, having a beer, lighthearted talk. We're not too serious and hopefully you don't take us too seriously. Please don't. By this, all means, do this not. This is Phil Benavides. <laughs> uh, and today we're talking about a product from FastCap. Love it's Fast their third hand, upper hand jack or pump. I call it like a jack or support jack. What do you yeah. think, Phil? Tell me about um, it. I mean, setting cabinets, uh, especially uppers, upper especially yep. working alone, yep. you know, even working with another guy, it's nice to be able to set something because, you know, cabinets come in big, big sections yep. and you want to get it nice and plumb and whatnot. And this is an easy way to do that. You know, a lot of this people- takes the shaking out of the shoulders out of it, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, and nothing's worse than, um, you know, you got a cabinet with, with a nice, uh, you know, inset frame, and then if that if you ever get that out of square at all, right. then you don't get a nice reveal. Yeah. And this is a nice way to keep. You know, you can you set your cleat, you put the cabinet up there, but if it sags one way and you know whatever, it just you and can, this helps stabilize. You can do this without a cleat. So I I install cabinets with a cleat, and I eat, still use these plywood tees. Mm -hmm. I use one tee up top, one tee at the bottom, and a C clamp, and I kind of slide them up and down. Okay, and that's a crude rude construction version yeah. of, of this. This, you could probably go without a cleat and you use two of them yeah. and you just jack them up and you're right. You I mean, look at this big base. You can get it right on the corner. Six inches by six cabinet. inches. Yeah. And look at the top of it. Did you notice the top of it? It's grippy. It's, it's grippy. It's rubber. It's grippy. It's grippy. Feel it. It's grippy. Feel it. So it's rubber against your beard. <laughs> it's grippy. It's going to hold. So you could get a cabinet, you know, you'd have to get and, the thing on top of this first. And way easier to adjust than a C-clamp, you know. I can do this and then my micro right. adjustments, right. you know, that's nice. So if you put that up and you lower it all the way, right, you're at 28 inches. And then, what is it, extend to 60? 60, Are you yeah. going to jack up your beer? I want to see that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so Phil's having fun. It's a pump jack mechanism, so yeah. spring loaded, and you just jack it up, and then you can, there's a, uh, there's a, a tab, a release, a release tab. So, so you're, you don't have to do this all day. You right, can you can just it set it and then pump it and micro, micro adjust, micro jack. And I think one thing that guys don't realize is that these things come in pairs. It's $76 for a two pack. They have a 150 pound rating each. So you, two pair, a pair is gonna, a pair, not two pair, a pair, <laughs> a pair is going to give you a 300 pound rating. You got the rubberized grip; it's not going to slide. Yeah, you get this, this is... cabinet set. You get your base cabinets in already, presumably. Yeah, that's a big cabinet on top. Boop, boop, boop. You jack it up. Yeah. So I'll tell you, they have a bigger version. They have a um, this is the upper hand. Then they have the long hand. What's it called? They have the little hand, little and then hand, they've got a whole hand. family of products. They've got another one that's actually longer, and which extends up to twelve feet, and yeah. you can use it on crown molding. Um, I've actually used them to replace columns on just like rooftop porches where you have like a little overhang porch with two columns. No, you know, I'm not talking about huge weight. I'm talking yeah. about the weight of the roof only. Yep. I've taken two of them, 300 pounds, jacked them up, su supported it, taken the post, the wooden rotted post out, put in a new column, done. Yeah. It's awesome. And this also looks like the, um, you could use this to hold up, uh, you know, plastic sheeting to control dust and whatnot. Well, on the longer, on the taller Obviously the ones, longer ones, the taller yeah. ones. They, they use it for dust walls, crown molding, um, cabinets. I I find more and more ways using these. The little hands, I've used them to spread things apart, mm, to break things that's apart. That's good. Um, and there's a ton of accessories that are associated oh with this like, thing too. Yeah, like what? A um, laser, yeah. magnets. Yeah. Um, what are we, we got the box We're looking here. at the box there. Why cheat? Uh, He's cheating. Connector kit, an EMT kit. What does that mean? EMT. Like EMT reaches 22 feet. Jeez. Okay, EMT, so like commercial like electrical pipe or commercial situation yeah, I maybe. guess? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yep. yep. Uh, magnetic laser mount, door mag, dust barrier foot. Laser mount is huge. So my laser actually has a magnetic mount. I just mount it right onto this. Yeah. And you can set it. And that's another thing that a lot of guys don't realize. These things are great. The 12 foot one. Oh yeah. You just set yeah. your laser. You can slide your laser up and down on that thing. It is awesome. Yeah, I've seen um, you take you take like a pole saw blade, tape that to the yep. wall. You put yep. it on there. I've or done that. I've yeah. seen uh, you know people take the, these signposts or those uh, landscaping things and screw those to the wall, and they can they can magnet it. You I don't know, know if I've seen those signpost ones. Uh, you know, like for landscaping, it's just like a big metal rod that you just screw if you're doing like strapping or something right. that you're trying to get level. You know, whatever the case may be. The point is, this thing is is 
a lot less intrusive and if you've got a, a long one you can pretty much set a laser to any height no big deal um, you know and that's you know that's the fast cap way you know they're integrating things um, in a efficient innovative way absolutely so, so um, there are three I just noticed this I, I I knew there were two I just noticed the third one there are three indents yep where you can lock this in is the of course now because the camera's on it will work this is the lowest one yeah there's the middle one right there and then there's the upper one and again those have 150 pound rating so that's a pretty good weight bearing yeah so guys i guess uh look tools on tap is all about talking about tools and i just wanted to show you guys this this is a great innovative solution for a lot of reasons definitely for cabinetry but for other stuff as well so check it out have a good one cheers